In the days of yore, when heroes walked the earth and monsters lurked in the shadows, there was a warrior whose name echoed across the lands, Beowulf, the mighty Gidish hero whose deeds became the stuff of legend. Beowulf's tale begins with his arrival in the land of the Danes, answering the call of King Hrothgar to rid Hirot Hall of the monstrous Grendel. As he crossed the sea to Denmark, the waves whispered of his coming, and the people awaited his arrival with hope and trepidation. Upon reaching Hirot Hall, Beowulf was greeted with a lavish banquet in his honor, where he pledged to deliver the Danes from the terror of Grendel. The feasting and revelry masked the fear that gripped the warriors, for none had been able to stand against the monstrous fiend. The fateful night arrived when Grendel attacked Hirot Hall once more. Beowulf, armed only with his bare hands and indomitable courage, faced the beast in a battle that shook the very foundations of the hall. Grendel, driven by a primal fury, underestimated the strength and resolve of the hero before him. In a display of unmatched prowess, Beowulf wrestled Grendel into submission, tearing the monster's arm from its socket. With a roar of pain and defeat, Grendel fled back to his lair, leaving the hall in stunned silence. The victory over Grendel was short-lived, for his mother, a creature of equal malevolence, sought revenge for her son's death. She attacked Hirot Hall under cover of darkness, dragging warriors to their watery graves. Beowulf, undaunted by the challenge, vowed to hunt down Grendel's mother and end her reign of terror. He plunged into the dark waters of her lair, armed with Runeting, a sword of great renown. The battle with Grendel's mother was a harrowing ordeal, as Beowulf faced not only her wrath but also the treacherous depths of her underwater domain. The sword Runeting, though a mighty blade, proved ineffective against her supernatural defenses. Undeterred, Beowulf fought on, eventually discovering a magical sword that could pierce the creature's hide. With a mighty blow he slew Grendel's mother, emerging victorious and claiming her head as a trophy of his triumph. Beowulf returned to Jiatland, hailed as a hero for his valor and strength. King Hajlik and Queen Hygd welcomed him with open arms, eager to hear of his adventures in the land of the Danes. A feast was held in Beowulf's honor, where he regaled his fellow Geats with tales of his exploits. The people celebrated late into the night, honoring their champion and savior. Years passed, and Beowulf's fame grew, but a new threat loomed on the horizon. A dragon, stirred from its slumber by a thief's greed, ravaged the land of the Geats, spewing fire and death wherever it went. Beowulf, now an aging king, knew that this would be his final battle. With his loyal retainer Wilof by his side, he rode out to face the dragon, determined to protect his people to the end. The battle with the dragon was fierce, the clash of steel and flame echoing across the land. Beowulf fought with all his might, but age had taken its toll, and the dragon's breath seared his flesh. In his darkest hour, Wilof came to Beowulf's aid, striking the dragon a mortal blow. But the hero king was mortally wounded, his life ebbing away as he gazed upon the beast's lifeless form. As Beowulf lay dying, surrounded by his grieving comrades, he reflected on his life and legacy. He spoke of his deeds, of the battles won and the monsters slain, knowing that he had lived a life worthy of song and story. Beowulf's last wish was to be cremated on a funeral pyre, his ashes scattered to the winds. His people honored his request, mourning the loss of their beloved king and hero. And so, Beowulf passed into legend, his name immortalized in the songs of bards and the tales of storytellers, a shining example of courage, honor, and sacrifice. Thank you for joining us on this epic journey with Mythic Tech Saga. 
We hope you've enjoyed these tales of heroes, monsters, and legends from across the ages. If you've liked what you've seen, please consider subscribing for more stories like these. Your support means the world to us as we continue to explore the realms of myth and legend. Until next time, may your adventures be legendary.